All right, so now, Aaron Templer is part of the Mudra Dance Studio. It celebrates Indian dance. They just did a huge performance at the Lakewood Cultural Center, sold out nights, people talking, and now we have him here tonight at Ignite Denver 18. Let's give it up to Aaron Templer. Thanks guys. Hey, um, Jared, we love Jared. Let him know. Um, so what I want to talk about is something that brings us together. We're fractured, we're polarized, and there's this concept that I want to ask you to consider that actually binds things, brings us together. This story starts with a very big bang, the original beat, and everything has pulsated from that beat ever since. Everything. Everything we see, everything we hear are just vibrating, dancing elements from that original beat and a rhythm runs through all of it. This is what seeing and hearing actually is, just vibrating elements, and we are connected to it very deeply, really deeply, as a matter of fact. The story also says that there's a God that's doing an eternal dance. This is a dance, maybe you've heard this one before too, of death, birth, rebirth, destruction, over and over and over again. This has all happened before, and it shall all happen again. So say we all, yeah? You are part of a fracking cosmic rhythm, man. You're connected to this thing so deeply. The earth itself that you live on is a throbbing, rhythmic thing of beauty. It has tides that come and go. It has seasons and moon cycles. Did you know that the earth's magnetic field fluctuates on a cycle, and science has demonstrated that when it's more agitated, you're more agitated. And that's because you are a rhythm machine built to understand and feel rhythm very deeply and try to find connections between all of this, to find that rhythm that runs through all of it. Did you know your skin helps you hear? It feels vibrations and it tells the ears what to listen for. And I think that we come from this place of, of this kind of primal understanding because the first thing that we're aware of ever is the, our heartbeat of our mothers in the womb. So it's kind of preparing us to connect to all these complex rhythms in the world and learn how to understand them. Musicians call syncing up very complex rhythms syncopation. And so I think when you tune into syncopation, when you try to find all of the beauty and the diversity around you, um, you know, you can dance better, right, to everything that's going on and, and everything that you're connected to. And this idea of total infinite syncopation might be something so complicated that we might not ever understand it, but it's very real. It's mathematical, actually. It's just a subdivision of space in between beats. And you've experienced it. When you're at the stoplight and your turn signal aligns just for a beat with somebody else's, that's syncopation. And I think tuning into syncopation helps in all kinds of ways in a work setting. It makes us better teammates. When you can find the rhythm of the people around you, you can get to work a lot more quickly. But much more importantly, man, when you are tuned into syncopation, you become more compassionate. Because why in the world would you ever want to hurt something that you feel is connected to yourself? So when you learn to tune into, into syncopation, you know, we just love the diversity of all the rhythms that come to the dance. And we want to dance to it, and we're better at dancing to it. So I'm going to challenge you guys to maybe break out of what you listen to every day, that banal backbeat that you're hitting with every day, and try to think outside of that so that you can learn to dance to this incredible diverse world that we've got. Now me and some friends want to show you what I'm talking about.
Would you like more of that? More, more. Can you do more? Can you do more? I want to introduce these few fine people. This is Shane Franklin, SF1. Nina Ariani. Her name actually means rhythm. This is Nikki Kawar, the love of my life. Shafali Shah, she choreographed this. You guys want to dance? Yeah. So they're professionals at showing people how to bhangra. So that's what we were just seeing. It's a bhangra from North India, and they can show you how to do it, but you've got to get up and do this. So we're going to play some drumming. This drum is from North India. That drum's from Africa, and you guys are going to learn a little syncopation, right? Yeah. And two people actually have to come up here, Jared and Terry. Terry, you got to get up here. Yeah. This is their payment for us. And anybody else, too, absolutely, but there's two people that have to be here. Come on up. If you're not going to come up on stage or dance down here, but get up, man, let's dance. Steve, I know you're stoned, but if you can come up here, it'd be great for everyone. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start slow, and then we're going to do another one faster. Do you want to do three or two? All right, we're going to do three. So we're going to go slow, so everyone will understand it. We'll speed it up, and then we'll speed it up one more time.
right, that's Ignite Denver 18. We were gonna do a speed round, but I think that's a good way to finish. Aaron Templer, the Mudra Dance Studio.